everyone, I'm Luke from Decred. So Decred is a cryptocurrency similar to Bitcoin or Litecoin, um, but with an additional governance layer. And so what this actually means is that, you know, in the Bitcoin ecosystem, you have these competing interest groups. You have miners, developers, businesses, and then the Bitcoin holders, right? And so when disputes arise between these different interest groups, there's no formal mechanism to resolve those disputes. So one example of this is the SegWit debate. Now, if you're not familiar with SegWit, it was basically just a feature that the developers wanted, but the miners didn't. And so there's a big clash. And the end result was a two and a half year political battle, um, lots of political infighting, Twitter wars, um, and the ecosystem got gridlocked, right? And the end result was uh, these hard forks. That's where Bitcoin Cash came from. So Decred sets out to, to solve this by essentially taking the concept of corporate shareholder state, uh, corporate shareholder voting and applying it to these open source cryptocurrency projects. So in Decred, any major protocol changes, any consensus changes require 75% approval from the Decred stakeholders, the people that actually own the Decred. So it takes the power away from the miners, puts it into the hands of the people that own Decred and aligns long-term incentives. So that's one component to our governance uh, model. The second is self-funding. So 10% of every block reward in Decred gets put into a development fund. And that fund is used to pay for engineering, design, marketing, anything to benefit Decred. So we don't have to rely on these external funding sources. We don't have to rely on VC money um, or, or community donations to fund development. So Decred is a um, self-funding, self-governing cryptocurrency. Uh, we got a lot of cool features rolling out in 2018. We have Lightning Network being rolled out. We have uh, privacy features that will allow private transactions to be sent. And we're, um, if you're familiar with what cross-chain atomic swaps are, we're developing a cross-chain atomic swap tool and integrating it into our desktop wallet. So a lot of cool stuff. And ASICs are coming online for Decred in the next couple months. Those are an interesting topic, right? Um, tokens in general are this new type of funding mechanism. It's a very important, um, it's a very important innovation, right? It, it, tokens are the first, you know, scarce digital assets really in a very long transition from physical assets moving from the real world onto blockchains. Like examples would be like property records and things like that moving on the blockchains. And tokens are the first manifestation of this. That being said, um, I think the token market can be somewhat inefficient right now, right? It's very new. Um, we're still figuring things out. We're still figuring out models for, you know, ICOs, uh, lockups, incentivizing teams the right way. And so there's gonna be a, a trial and error, error, error period where we've gotta figure this stuff out, but long-term, I think they're, they're a great innovation.